What's up people of the internet? I hope all is well as on your side and for today's video I like to do something a little bit different. But first, let's grab some coffee. Okay, so if you haven't known me before this channel or even follow me personally, when I started my own adult life, I started this blog. Now, this isn't some shameless plug to share this blog for everyone to read, you know, feel free to if you're interested, but I think I really wanted to just share this because this place was and still is a place for me to just write down the life lessons I've learned during my young adult life so far. So it's been like three years now since I started my young adult life and normally because of this pandemic I would probably write something in my blog but because I have this platform I figured you know Royce why don't you just create something make a video out of it and if you guys enjoy this type of content maybe I'll make another episode but until that one let's start. So it's been like two years now since I've written anything in that blog and that isn't to say that I haven't learned anything these past two years it's just that Nothing has really driven me to write anything in order for me to want to remember and reread for my future self. Now, I think that's just because life has been going so good that nothing has really pushed me to actually want to share with others. And especially during this pandemic, I figured I need to remind myself as well as, you know, I hope to encourage others. Why not take a step back and take a moment to be introspective you know, look at the things around you and if possible and the opportunity arises, process it and hopefully take actions on those thoughts. Now on that note, you ever get that feeling that you feel like life is just going a little too good, that things are going a little too smooth for what you expect? You know, that it's that feeling that you feel like shit is gonna hit the fan so freaking hard at the most unexpected moment. Well, to be honest, I feel like I'm feeling that right now. I'm not the most optimistic person. I tend to think in a very realistic black and white type of way. And that's probably where that feeling of things don't go right all the time came from. Now, this is probably influenced probably from the line of work that I'm in. And if you didn't know, I'm an engineer. And in engineering, things don't really go as you plan. You know, once in a blue moon, things might go smooth, but rarely is there a time where things actually go as you plan and the way that you want it to go. Now, the big takeaway that I've learned in these past three years is that when things go south, when things go wrong, you really need to push yourself to that direction to make it go right. That came from, from a lot of mistakes, a lot of things that I've learned, but that's the big main takeaway. If you're able to have that attitude when things don't go as you plan, that'll push yourself forwards more and make you learn and have a better attitude for the next one. So this takeaway isn't something that's you know unique to me or just in fact any engineer. You're probably learning this takeaway right now that things don't go planned as you want it to go. You know, the year 2020, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. I don't know about you, but I don't think I planned on having a quarantine life, secluded from society, wearing a mask if I wanted to go outside all the time. It just sucks. You know, vacations, events, plans, future gatherings, they're either canceled or put on hold. And for a lack of better words, this year went to shit. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if let's try and take this opportunity to take advantage of this quarantine life. What I mean by that is to take a moment. So you may be asking yourself, Royce, you keep saying take a moment. What the hell does that mean? Well, I think the vague answer is to answer that question is, that's up for you to decide actually. 
For me, I'll quantify it for you right here. So if you haven't guessed it already, each one of these items that I place on the table is pretty much a practical way in some shape or form of the way I take a moment in my life. Take my coffee for example. How many of you coffee enthusiasts just love to grab a cup of coffee, get on the couch or just you know grab a book and read it or look out the window and just enjoy the moment? Well, coffee for me is something very similar in that type of fashion but a little bit more. You know, coffee kind of gives me that oomph to the day, it gives me that drive to tackle the day and allows me to soak in the schedule that I have with a big boost of energy. Now you could probably be like, yo Royce, that's just the caffeine, you're going crazy or something. Like, this is nothing related to that. Well, coffee for me, it's so much more significant than, than just that. It allows me just to have that moment in time in the morning to be like, Royce, this is the new day, let's get at it. So ladies and gentlemen, the next item on this table has had a significant part of my life for I think more than 10 years now, and that is this. Now this is a magnet obviously, but it's what's on the magnet that signifies what has made me the person who I am today. And that my friends is a guitar. Back in college, back in high school, back in middle school, it's been something what you call a refuge, and it's been a place for me to go when I'm sad, lonely, or depressed, and even when I'm joyful. You know, it's, playing the guitar has such a big impact in my life where it allowed me to kind of flush away all the pent-up emotions. Very similar to how coffee does for me in the morning, but it allows me just to kind of forget everything that's happening in the world in that small window of time. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but Something about playing the guitar really helps a lot. It's just strumming away, playing some music, something about it just helps me flush away everything. It just realigns myself in such a specific way that, you know, copy can't do. And honest, I don't know, it's just a great feeling. So the next item on this table has also a significant part of my life to take a moment, but I think it's been a little longer than how long I've been playing the guitar. And that here, my friends, is this book, and that is called The Bible. So if you know me for a long time, reading isn't something that I usually like to do, actually. It's something I hate the most. Reading for me is like brushing your teeth and then drinking orange juice right afterwards. And if you haven't done that already, I suggest you don't do it, but try it anyway to know what I'm feeling. That is what reading is like to me. Now, if you enjoy reading, sorry but not sorry, I just can't do it and I can't enjoy it. But with that being said, when I do read something good, when I do have something to connect with, when I do read something, that in itself is such a worthwhile time for me where time somehow stops. It's kind of strange. I don't know what it is, but it's strange to take time to stop time. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but to those who actually enjoy reading for a hobby, you might understand. So a fun fact actually is that I am an engineer because I thought this type of career path would have the less type of reading and documentation and whatnot that I need to do. Well, that is the biggest fat lie in the world. I have to do so much reading and I hate it so much. Now, this isn't just some book for me to read because like I said before, I hate reading. But something is more special about the Bible when I read it because Reading the Bible allows me to learn, reflect, as well as ultimately reset, just like how coffee and the guitar does for me. So whether you're Christian or not, no matter what you believe in, the Bible is basically a giant history book filled with lots of parables, and it really helps guide someone to become a good person. Now, at the end of the day, whether I read a few verses, a few chapters at night, sometimes in the morning, the Bible is something very special. It allows me to become introspective. It stops time and helps me to take a moment to really become a better person. It's pretty much a guidebook for me to help better love another person, whether it be my coworkers, my family, my friends. And the dream is, no matter what, a stranger on the street. And last but not least, is this. This here is my old 2010 Sony point and shoot camera. Now, I've used this a lot in high school. I used to create so many random videos with my old friends back in the day. It ranged from like cap guns, if you know what those are, as well as lightsabers. 
It used to be a lot of fun in the day, but I never really, I guess, drove myself into learning about it until end of last year. Now you've seen a lot of videos, whether it be from promo videos to fake commercials and random B-roll videos, but videography has really become something what I call a passion now. And I really want to pursue this even more to show you guys and share the desire I have to generally just create something and really bring out the beauty in the most ordinary things. You know, honestly, I feel like I genuinely reached a point where I really care about the story I'm trying to portray in a video. Something about videography allowed me to take a step back for each video, looking at the whole entire picture. And somehow in some way, that type of thinking kind of bled into my life now. And that is especially important, especially during this quarantine. So I'm honestly thankful and genuinely humbled by the fact that I can walk this Vida Archive journey to learn and really step back to really look at the whole entire picture. Now, I said a lot in this video and taking a moment could be a different for everyone, but basically what I wanna try and get at is, it's very different for everyone else. And if you could be introspective, be able to rest, be able to think, and be able to just generally also flush away and reset as a person, that's what I mean by taking a moment. Now, obviously this isn't my normal types of videos, so hopefully you enjoyed it. But nonetheless, I really do encourage you, if you have the time and you're willing to, why not take a moment and take advantage of the time that we're in to really process the things, really be introspective, and hopefully become a better person in the end. Now until the next one, God bless.